Hey guys, Jamie with PC Monkey here doing a key repair video for you today. Uh, we have right here an HP 14. Uh, the actual model, the exact model is 14 AC011TU. Uh, but any 14 or any 14 AC uh, will be very, very similar to what we're doing here. Uh, if you wanted one of these normal keys, uh, look in the description, that link will be there. In this video, we're going to show you how to do the larger keys enter space backspace, um, keys like that. The reason why we're doing this, just so you know, um, is because this is a French inset keyboard, as a lot of keyboards are now. If you open this up and look inside, it's not held on by screws, it's held on by plastic rivets. So that's a one-time only install. Once you rip that keyboard out and you put a new one in, there's no real way to secure it. Um, so it'll kind of always be loose. It, it, it won't be a very good repair. That is why when you break a key or lose one, we prefer to buy a loose one on eBay or Amazon and install it. Or if you can't find one, we buy an entirely uh, uh, an, an entire used keyboard and then take a keyboard off, or I'm sorry, a key off and, and put it on here. So we're gonna show you how to uh, remove a key safely and how to install it safely without breaking it because there's a lot of breakable things that can go on in there. So let me zoom in, we'll do the enter key today. So we'll zoom in on that. You're gonna want a small flathead screwdriver, smaller the better. And the idea here is that we're going to take the screwdriver, <clears throat> slide it underneath your keycap, top part, but we want to get it above the retainer clip that's underneath that you can't see, so it's kind of tricky. Um, but so I'll, I'll do this for you and, and I'll show you what it looks like under there once we get it off. So above the keycap. All right, so that came off, a little messy. So this is what it looks like under there, and we'll show you what we were trying to do and not do. So if you just grab this and pull it off, you're gonna break stuff. First of all, you've got this, uh, these two retainer clips in here. These normal keys will have one larger one, but this had two small ones. And these are made of a very flimsy plastic. These will break very easily if you just try to rip this key off. Then you have these two stabilizer bars, one on top, one on bottom. Uh, those just fit into the holes on the outside. Those are pretty easy to get off and get on. And then you got this bouncy little thing in the middle. Um, really try not to wreck that. That's glued on. So if, if you peel that thing up or lose it, it's really hard to get a new one back in there. So in order to get these retainer clips up, this is kind of tricky. Uh, the way that this is set up is there's two metal pins on the top corners and then one down here toward the middle we have to pry this out from under that metal clip without breaking it. So this is gonna be where you break it if you break it. So this is tricky. So what I'm gonna do it is take my thumbnail and push up on that clip as much as I can, even though it's tight. And then I'm gonna to try to slowly with my screwdriver pry that out from under there without breaking it. So assuming I can do it, we'll show you what it looks like after. Pushing up, if I can get in there. I did it without breaking it. Woohoo! All right, so we'll show you what that clip looks like. Do, 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 do. There it is. All right, so I'll flip it over. I'm not sure how well you can see that or not. Let me see how much I can zoom in without losing any quality. All right, so, so there you go. So this is what I was trying to not break. You got this thin little piece right here and this thin little piece there. That's what's underneath the metal. And that's what you're definitely going to break if you just pull it up because these are, are nothing. It's got to be less than a millimeter thick. So that's very easy to break. And that's what we were trying not to break. Um, and we didn't. Yay. Good for the video. So now I'm going to show you how to put that back in there. We're going to go in reverse. We're going to put the bottom down first. Get that metal part under there where it should be, and then once I think I have it set, I'm just going to push the top back on. Snap the top back on. So that comes down a little easier um, than... Uh, um, that went down easier th than it comes up, for sure. And then, this is kind of tricky too, so I, I, I do this a lot, so I'm a little comfortable doing it, but these metal bars are kind of free floating in there, they, they kind of move around, so you got to adjust those and move them so they're kind of centered. So you think they're where you want them to be. Um, so I think I have mine pretty centered, pretty lined up. Put my enter key on top and then just push. And, uh, and I got mine snapped down pretty good. 
So that's how you would replace that key. That may take a few times, a few trial and errors, if you don't have those bars lined up exactly, because um, again, they don't snap perfectly into place. So that could be tricky. But that's how these large keys look inside. Um, again, if you're looking for the small key, check out the description below. Uh, if this was helpful, please like and share. And uh, any questions or comments, we'll answer them at least a couple times a day in the uh, comments below. So thank you so much for watching.